Oh boy, here we go. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh my gosh. There's a barrier on our porch so our baby doesn't run off of it. Oh. Got a lot to do today, a lot to do today. Not enough time in the day. Seems to be, seems to be a running theme with me lately. I thought this week was gonna be nice and chill. Oh, I was very wrong. It's open. Why is my door not opening? Whew. Late. So today we gotta we gotta do this workout and this workout it's gonna be a fast one. Ooh, it's a very happy Monday. And come on, you know what this means. We have another vault to get done today. And this week we're working on Hades. So today is, ooh, wrong one. I am just all over the place today. Ah, okay, so today is Hades, uh, God of the Underworld, and that is because this workout is going to be from hell. <laughs> 100 thrusters for time. Every minute on the minute with a sandbag, it's gonna be four sandbag over your shoulder. If you're doing anything else, it's like, uh, I think it's five deadlifts. So if you're doing dumbbells, it's five deadlifts. And if you're doing a barbell, it's gonna be five deadlifts. But for a thruster workout, I typically will do the sandbag. And I probably will make a video on this, but I think the sandbag is probably one of the more underrated home gym workout pieces of equipment. I, I just, I've been thinking about it. I use this thing all the time. I probably use this more than I use a barbell. And just less than how many, how often I use dumbbells. I know it's Project April in the street parking community. I typically don't do that very much. The whole point in Project April is to only use dumbbells uh, to prove that you can get really fit with just dumbbells. And I already believe that. I use my dumbbells constantly like you guys see. So I like to use my sandbag quite a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just ate something. That was a bug. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's still a bug in there. Ugh. That's gross. Okay. Goal on this one is 10 to 15 minutes. I really want to get in between there. Um, honestly, I want to do so more, more or less because I really don't want to do the thrusters for 15 minutes. That sounds terrible. And I don't have to do the sandbag over the shoulder for the first minute. So this first minute, I got to crush it. I got to, I really have to pump out a lot of these, um, the, I gotta pump out a lot of thrusters. And I really like the sandbag over the shoulder movement. I know I'm typically a massive deadlift fan, but I, I really wanted to switch it up. Do, do something different. Get, that's why I really love the sandbag. I do all my strength stuff with the barbell. I do a lot of these workouts with dumbbells. Throwing in a sandbag every now and again. It's just fun. It's nice. And with a movement like thruster, you know, if you lack mobility, it might not be the best reason to do it, but you can kind of cheat a little bit with a sandbag. Again, it's probably not recommended, but that's, that's a big reason I like to do it. Okay, so, uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna set a death by EMOM, one minute intervals. Hades, the workout from hell. I think he's the god of the underworld or something. I don't know.
Whew. Hades, it hurt a lot, but I'm done. 1346, super happy with that. I was hoping to get closer to 10, but I had to, uh, I had to give myself two rounds where I didn't do anything other than the same bag over shoulder. So going into it, I was hoping I didn't have to do that, but I did and that's okay. I gave myself two times because my reps per minute were just declining so rapidly that I wanted to give myself a rest period so I could be a little bit more steady because once I hit that halfway mark, which was my first break, the reps just steadily declined. So when I do this one again, I need to be able to do that better. Get, try and work every minute. Don't let a minute go by where I'm not logging something. Spread it out a little bit more. So maybe I'm not doing so many per minute. My goal coming into this was to do eight per minute and I started off doing way more than that. So that was kind of my downfall, but that's okay. I learned for next time. Oh man, I gotta stand up. I learned for next time. I'll do this again in six months. I'll hopefully improve. And that's what, that's what the vault is all about. Being consistent and steadily improving because we're in April. We're midway through April now. If you made a new year's resolution, statistically, you, uh, you gave up on that. And I hope if you're watching this video, that's not you. I hope you didn't give up on your New Year's resolution. I know I'm still plugging away at it. But let me know below. If you did Hades, let me know your score. If you are still working towards your resolution, let me know that too. But until next time, we're all in progress. Have a great day. Okay, real quick before I end this video, I, I feel like I need to jump back on to, to just say that workout destroyed me. It has been it has been an hour since I finished that workout and I'm finally starting to feel back to normal. That workout was tough and I knew I was hurting when it finished. I didn't realize how much I was hurting until I got back inside and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Oh, I was exhausted. I was dripping sweat from, from my 13 minute workout. Oh, I was toast. That was, that was insane. Wow. Hades got me. It got me. I did well, but it got me.